I'm with Mark Sanders of uh, what was always the, what was it called previously? Water Saver Technologies. When Treehugger previously wrote about uh, the gray water system, it was Water Saver Technology, and it's now part of Sloan Valve, right. one of the largest manufacturers of plumbing hardware. Yes. Which is a great move. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. Now, you explained something to me. We've shown this before, where we're collecting uh, the waste from the sink in the tank, and then we're pumping it into the toilet. But I never understood the intricacies of the toilet before, how you've had to modify the toilet, even how you get the water into the toilet. Right. Yeah, we take a standard, we take a standard type toilet uh, that has a, fl a regular flush valve and a, and a float, and we add a component called the fill control unit. This piece snaps onto your normal fill valve and basically acts like a seesaw. When you flush the toilet, the fill valve is raised, holding it off in the off position. So the water isn't where normally the fresh water is coming in here. The fresh water normally comes in from the left-hand side to the fill valve. And you're pumping the water, pumping into there on the right side, correct. into this thing, so that you're, this deals with the issue of cross-contamination. That's correct, that's correct. And also the other thing that it does is, by holding the float valve in the off position, it's, it, it allows the fresh water system to remain in place we're not actually disturbing the freshwater system, except we're just trying, we're overcoming it when there's when there is gray water to be used. But there's only one hole in the in the bottom of the tank. How do you get your water in? We actually have two bolts that connect the tank to the base. Yeah, there's all okay. oh, there's there's bolts there. Oh. And we replace those we replace those regular bolts with our own hollow stainless steel bolts. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you're able to retrofit and change a tank that you obviously can't drill a hole into right. Yeah, right. by using the uh, the hollow with bolts. With the existing, that's right, that's exactly correct. Okay, so every, uh, one of the big problems with introducing gray water is sort of the resistance of uh, municipalities and codes. Right. Is everybody cool with this, with all these measures you've it taken? It currently has a uniform plumbing code product listing. Right. Okay, which is the, the code that typically follows the, the west and southwest states, okay? And so that allows us to uh, address those particular areas that follow UPC. Anywhere else that we've had a, that, that, that may be interested in using the system, we supply a inspector's guide. Right. Basically, they all, inspectors ask two questions. Is there cross-contamination with the system? No. And is there any chance that if the dog drinks out of the toilet or baby takes Barbie for a swim, is anybody going to be harmed? And the answer to that is no as well. We have we have um, uh, significant toxicology reports that we've done, as well as independent testing, to demonstrate that the that the that the level of bacteria and chlorinate we chlorinate the water to the, le the same level that when it comes out of the tap water in the first place. So it's not harmful. Well, I was worried about the dog, but I never thought about Barbie before. That's wow. right. <laughs> Thank you very much.